Mac, we saw a nice throw there by Nixon. Throughout the highlight, you see decisions and throws and growth by the young man. It seemed like early in this season, like any rookie would, he was processing at a way too quick of a pace. Yeah. Things were happening fast in front of him. Does it look like things are slowing down here on Sunday? Uh, no question. You can, you can tell he's getting acclimated to this new life as an NFL quarterback. And the thing I love about Bo Nix is the growth and progression that we're watching when you look at week one compared to where he currently sits uh, for the Denver Broncos. He didn't really blow you away with his numbers, but the thing I love about Bo Nix in today's performance against the Raiders was the efficiency and just being smart with the football and just taking the little things that the defense were giving him. I mean, two, over 200 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions. Mm -hmm. When you learn how to protect the football, especially with the Broncos defense, they have, they've been pretty good to say yeah. the least. They will give you a fighting chance. You know, we saw that in not the best conditions last week against the Jets. He protected the football. They found a way to win. Today, we saw similar like performances from him in protecting the football. And then he started making plays in the passing game. And the thing, of course, his feistiness when he becomes a runner, being able to buy time. Uh, so we look at this game right here for Bo Nix. This was a defining moment for him as their franchise quarterback understanding and knowing I don't have to play hero football yeah. for us to win ball games. It looked like a good football team. Yeah. When you look at sort of the protecting the football, winning the turnover battle, doing all the things that you have to do when maybe you had a little bit of a talent deficit to come away with wins, and I'm not suggesting that the Raiders are a better constructed team. I'm actually asking you a question of where that roster goes from here because you can lose to good teams. You can't get blown out by good teams. You get blown out by great teams. They yeah. just got blown out by a good team. What's the road forward look like for the Raiders? A quarterback change in the midst of this one didn't change all but the name on the back of the jersey. Well, the road forward for the Raiders is they don't have any GPS to show them where to go, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. Because it seemed like it was four years ago when they went to Baltimore and beat the Ravens week two. Because the team that we saw in Baltimore compared to what we're watching right now, we don't, we, we don't recognize this team. And I'll say this much because when you look at what they did beating Baltimore, you know, finding a way to be competitive, it felt like this would be a competitive year for the Raiders. But now when you look at what's going on on the football field and then off the football field, they're in the midst of a rebuild. And it's almost like they self-inflicted a rebuild. Because you're in the, in the process of potentially trading your best offensive player. And that's looming over the whole thing. It's exactly. The hamstring that he's dealing with and not out there on the football field with his teammates. Because my thing is this. If you're telling all of us you're going to compete this season, you're going to be relevant in your division, it's hard for all of us to believe that when you're thinking about trading your best player away. You can't reconcile those two things with one Facts. another. Yeah. So you can't tell... Tell us, yeah, we're going to compete. That's our job. We, we're, we're fighting for a playoff spot. In a division, it's wide open outside of Kansas City. And let's be real, Kansas City, they haven't looked like I, the beast I, that I like we've that. seen. Wide open outside of the two-time defending champions yes. who are on their way to a third. Yeah, yeah. so <laughs> the, the, the second-place spot in their division is wide open. Well-received, yes. So now when you look at what we saw today, and then there, were, there was a quarterback change for the Raiders. Gardner Minshew went to the sideline. Here comes Aiden O'Connell. You know, he didn't other, look, other Gardner Minshew. Yes, basically younger. Yeah. He didn't really give you any reason to feel like he can give you more. Mm -hmm. So for the Raiders, man, this is going to be a very, very long year for the Raiders because, you know, their fan base are super invested yeah. in, in their team. But the product on the football field, it doesn't look very, very appealing right now. I think well said and concisely done. Don't expect us to compete if you're not going to let us compete with all the pieces on the field. We'll yep. see what it looks like for the Raiders moving forward. Here's what's going to be asked of them as we take a look at their schedule moving forward. They walk away with the loss here against the Broncos. That's that 34 to 18. Apologies here on the graphic. It goes Steelers, Rams, Chiefs, and Bengals before a week 10 bye. A lot of football out in front of the Raiders. A new head coach, a new quarterback here on Sunday. See if they have any answers in the weeks to come.